Hi everyone! Uh, today I'm going to give you five facts about ancient Rome. So fact number one, uh, Rome was thought to be created around 753 BC um, by twins Romulus and Remus. And so um, Romulus and Remus uh, were looking around, they saw a bunch of hills and they wanted to build a, a city on one of them, but they couldn't decide which one to start building it on. So they ended up getting into an argument and they're like, you know what, we're gonna look and we're gonna look up at the birds and we're gonna see what signs they're giving us and they'll tell us where we should build it. And so they both look up and both of them are like, oh my gosh, the birds are telling me that I'm right. And so they can't agree on it, they argue about it, they start fighting, and in the world's worst way of resolving an argument, Romulus kills his brother Remus and decides to build the city where he wanted to have it, and then he named the city after himself, naming it Rome. So fact number two, if you were going to school, you would probably have had uh, what was called a wax tablet, because at that time period, uh, paper was either something that you couldn't get, or it was something that was potentially very expensive. And so typically, if you were in school, you would use a wax tablet, which was a frame, um, typically would have been made out of something like wood or something like that. And in the center of it would have been some wax that had been melted into the shape. And you would scratch into it using a sharp pointy stick called a stylus. And um, what made this so great for practicing uh, writing and things like that was that uh, the wax could then be melted and it would give you a nice uh, flat surface when it hardened again for you to start writing on it again. So it was a reusable resource, which was actually really cool. So fact number three, at that point in history, most places um, and societies didn't have running water. Ancient Rome was different. It actually had what was called the aqueduct system, which was a system to bring running water into the city, which was something most societies did not have. And um, this meant that they could have things in their society like um, they could have toilets, which was something that was this novel concept that most societies didn't have. And it actually was such an advanced system that it wasn't considered to have been surpassed until approximately the 19th centuries, which was hundreds and hundreds of years later. So it was really, really cool. And all right, and fact number four, most people associate togas with being something that um, was associated with ancient Roman society. What a lot of people didn't realize is that um, there was a good portion of the society that didn't actually wear them. Typically, uh, a lot of people wore what were called tunics. So, um, like men would wear one that was approximately knee length. Um, women typically wore one that was longer, so it might go down longer, closer to your ankles or your feet. Um, togas were something that were typically worn for formal occasions, and they were only allowed to be worn by Roman citizens. And a large portion of Roman society was not actually considered to be a Roman citizen. So you actually had a lot of people who didn't actually get to wear them. And then fact number five, if you were looking for something to entertain yourself, you wanted something to do, um, you might go to a couple of places to get entertained. Uh, number one would be you potentially go to the Roman Colosseum, where you would see the gladiators fighting. It could hold over 50,000 people, which is a lot. And um, the gladiators were typically people who were either slaves or they were criminals who would then fight each other. And if they did well enough for a long enough period of time, they might actually be able to earn their freedom, which was obviously very important to them. Um, and if you decided not to go to the Colosseum, you might go to uh, the Circus Maximus, which was huge. It could hold over 250,000 people, which is crazy to me. And um, you would go there and you would actually be able to go see uh, chariot races, which um, you would probably have had your favorite chariot team that you cheered for, kind of like sports teams today. And um, chariot racing was actually very dangerous. It was something that, uh, you know, there were, it was very common for them to have accidents or to get into wrecks and for chariots to be damaged or destroyed. But it was also uh, pretty common for the charioteer who was driving it to potentially be injured. They could even be killed. So it was a pretty dangerous thing, but it was very exciting for the people who got to actually go and watch it. So if you would like to learn more facts about ancient Rome, check out the collection on Hoopla and you should be able to find some really awesome books about ancient Rome.